So this video is about the Kenchi razor. I don't know if you can see it well enough. It is for right-handed and left-handed people. When you buy it, you get the handle and a 10 pack of blades. It looks like this. To change the blade, all you do is literally just push it out, comes right out, put in another one. This is my own personal one, so I've used a few of these blades already. I can get it out of the box. There we go. So it comes in a tray like this. There isn't really a right or wrong way to put it in. So you just take it, slide it in like that, and push it down, and then you're ready to use it. So what I use this for, mostly, is to blend anywhere that you would blend with um, thinning shears. So I've already done some clippering on her and she's my house pet. So I kind of made some rough lines on purpose for the sake of the video. Stop. So you can see here, there's a pretty obvious line from the clippers. So just gently, I mean very gently, just with a short motion, I just go over that line. Stop. And she's got some her collar mark here too, because she wears a collar normally. So it just, I mean, it takes off really, really easily. <clears throat> so like all this hair right here is from her collar. Um, it doesn't really matter, but I could blend it just like this. You don't want to use the razor on back coat on show dogs because it does cut hair, just like thinning shears cut hair. And you really have to be light. You cannot cut the dog. Well, I'm not going to say you can't, but it would be not easy to do. So it only takes a few minutes or not even a minute and it just blends the line really well. Let me see if I can turn her around and do the other side so she doesn't look like she has a mohawk. Again, you can see the line, hopefully. Turn around, thank you. And I'm just gonna take my razor and just go over that line really gently with short strokes. like that. It blends it so easily and so nicely. And it's certainly cheaper than thinning shears. Let me see if I can put this closer so you can really see. Stop. Okay. So another thing, sometimes I like to use it on top knots. Again, kind of butcher her top knot just so you could see. Thank you for all the kisses. Let me see. I'm doing this video by myself, so maybe I might have to have her lay down. Can you lay down? Okay, so on a top knot, again, I did my I just clippered the back skull right here, just about an inch wide with a tin blade. Stop. Come here. Ooh. And I'm going to, where that line is, it's really right here. You can see it sticking up. Take my razor and just blend over that line. If you're not very good with thinning shears, this is a pretty good tool to have because you can fix a lot of mistakes. And it just makes it look so nice and neat. Stop, 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 stop. Anywhere where you've got ugly 
marks, clipper marks you can go over with your razor. Another place I like to use it, on show dogs especially, <clears throat> when they have these wispy hairs right here, you know, after you've done all your stripping and carding and, you know, all that stuff, and if it's just too long and you wanna just take some of the length off, you can just lightly go down. You can see all the hair fall off. Again, she's my pet. I can do whatever I want. I use it on the tail. <clears throat> if you're tidying up, you know, your pet dog's at home and you've stripped their backs and again, they're, the hair is just too long. Again, these are not show dogs I'm talking about. You can use it on their back ever so lightly. And it, I mean, it takes off hair very, very easily with practically no effort whatsoever, which is important to me because I have problems with my hands and elbows from many years of grooming. So it's nice just to keep things tidy like that. Anyway, if you're interested in a razor, if you have any questions, let me know. Or if you want one, let me know.